Listen up miners, I gotta ask, what mining pool do you have your ASICs on? Now the bigger question, why? Reliability, security, profitability, and uptime are must-haves for serious crypto miners. All reasons why I've been running my new Bitcoin, Caspa, and Script miners on ViaBTC.com. ViaBTC.com has a unique, one-of-a-kind mining mechanism called Smart Mining, which unlocks higher returns for Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash miners. In addition, what sets ViaBTC.com apart is their hourly payouts, auto withdrawal, and conversion system, which I gotta say is super convenient. Go check out ViaBTC.com today via the link in today's video description and tell them the hobbyist miner sent you. The team at Crypto Miner Bros sent me over this Canyon Avalon A1346 Bitcoin miner. Now, it's kind of interesting because as a home miner, you don't hear a lot about these Avalon units and people running them at home. But what really interests me about this is two things. So number one about this unit, it's under $2,000. A Bitcoin miner that's under $2,000, that's unreal. And the second thing is this puppy right here has six different hash rate modes to make it, well, a perfect Bitcoin miner for home crypto miners that wanna run at a different variety of different power efficiency modes. And hey, we love options. We love choice as home crypto miners. So huge shout out to the team over at Crypto Miner Bros for sending this over to me. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right, check it out. The Canon Avalon A1436. This guy here is a Bitcoin miner. It does 110 terahash. Take a look at that. And as I said before, it has six different hash rate modes. So in this video today, I'm going to spend some time going ahead and testing all of them out and give you guys a rundown and comparison of them. But before we do, let's just give a quick tour of this unit. So right in the front, we have our status Ethernet and some of our function buttons there. Take a look at these fan connectors. These aren't traditional fan connectors that you would see traditionally in like a Bitmain unit. They come out of these high RPM fans, which are actually really thick here, and go into these specialized connector ports, which is actually really nice. Going down the list here, check it out. We have a toggle button. Oh my gosh, I wish all full-size ASICs had them. We have our intake fans right here for our power supply and this guy uses a c19 to c20 cable now this isn't a unit that you would run on 120 volts it does run on 240 and higher now other than that nothing else too too crazy about it we have the avalon logo up here on top and if we go ahead and spin it around you actually will notice look there's no fans on the back like you would see from Bitmain who have four fans total. We have the exhaust for our power supply and then we do have the remainder of the unit here. Now if we take a closer look you see the silver heat sinks if you look close enough there's black heat sinks as well. So they have heat sinks on both sides of these hash boards with three total hash boards in them which is actually awesome to see. You know, that's not something you see in most traditional ASICs that we've been messing with and testing out as a home miner. But I know a lot of these big boys definitely have them. So let's go ahead here. We're gonna test this out in my storage room here. Uh, we have a rack available here. Take a look. We have our amp miner S9i still sitting in here. That is on brains and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get that solo mining in our new shed here shortly. So I do have a meter box here set up with a 30 amp to 40 volt, nothing is on it. So let me get it plugged in and powered up. All right, so we're over on Crypto Miner Bros website. By the way, I love that floating animated ASIC. So cool. Um, but once we're over here, I want to show you guys the Avalon and then we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the GUI, the UI and all these different hash modes and then get started with my testing. Okay, so once we're over here, we're gonna go ahead and click on shop 
and they carry a variety of different ASICs, as you guys can see. They, look, they even have the new S21 listed in here, which is so cool. Look, here's the S21 Hydro, and then they also have the S21 Air Cooled as well, marked as sold out right now, of course. So let's go to Canyon Avalon, click there. And once we're over here, you can see there's a variety of different models. There is the 1400 series model. We're working with the 1346, which is over here, which is 110 terahash. So let's load that up and look at that price under two grand. I love it. So some of the generic specs here, right from the manufacturer uh, that you can see, it does 110 terahash at 30. 300 watts well i'm interested to put that to the test so we're going to test out the six different hash modes including the normal one which is saying 110 terahash and see at the wall if it truly does 3300 watts so give me a few hours here and i'm going to test out all six modes but before we do let me give you a quick tour of their dashboard as i've never seen one of these before so let's go ahead and log in typical credentials are root and root and once we get logged in, their dashboard is actually pretty attractive uh, and actually puts bitmains a little bit to the test there. So you have your traditional uh, metrics at the top that you would see mining stats, network stats, fan stats, and minor temps. Uh, from there, you can see your hash rate, your accepted, your rejected mode. You can see ours is just taking off. So I might have to talk a little bit louder uh, as that's right in the room right next to me. Now, what interests me the most, you know, you have your typical network and log and system and reboot and upgrade. It's all typical for an ASIC, but what interests me the most is within configuration. So within configuration, uh, and I have mine, by the way, over on uh, via BTC, if you're curious and interested. And here is where I want to share with you guys and what I'm most interested in as a home miner, the worker mode. So if you click on there, you have a variety of different modes. You have normal, which I would expect that 110 terahash, but we'll find out. High performance, which maybe we're getting significantly more, but then we have power mode. Now, when you click on power mode, here is what's like so interesting to me. You have this variable of zero to four. So what does that mean? Is that the intensity of power mode? Is that the hash rate gets lower and lower? You know, what all does that mean? So let me get to work testing these and I'll show up with a spreadsheet here in just a few minutes and we'll share the settings for you. And we'll find out if this is something that you're interested in. Cause remember it's under two grand right now. And can we get away with a lower power mode that's more efficient as a home miner? All right, it has been two hours and let's run through the seven different modes. I thought there were six, found there were seven. So Bitcoin price right now, 26,600 and the electric rate is four cents. So. Right now, the real-time hash rate on the high high performance mode is 112.63 terahash at a big 3,331 watts. That goes ahead and puts our efficiency about a 29.5, which is not good. And it puts our profit about $3.85. Looking at normal mode, the way it ships, the way it comes, that one is at 95.6 terahash at 2,716 watts, which puts our efficiency down to 28.4. Okay, we're moving in the right direction and a profitability per day of $3.38. Now the zero power mode actually really surprised me because I didn't even think about zero when I was looking at that configuration. I just thought of one through four. And at the zero power mode, we're at 112.85 terahash, almost at the cusp of 113, but our watts is a whopping 3,355. So we're almost at 30 for an efficiency of 29.7. So our profitability is a $3.82. All right, so we're on the up and up here. We are at power mode one, and that is 103.27 terahash at 2,953 watts. That puts us at mid 28.5 for our efficiency rating at a, at a total profit walking away of $3.64. All right, we're moving up here. We're now at power mode two. And for power mode two, we are at 97.79 and our watts total were 2,753. So we're actually low 28, almost into 27, putting our profitability per day at $3.48. All right, power mode three. We are at 90.36 terahash at 2,475 watts. Definitely bringing that down. And our total, our efficiency is now 27.3, which we're almost gonna break that cusp of 
26 and we're at three dollars and 29 cents per day power mode number four this is a surprise 83.23 terahash and only 2150 watts wow we're into the efficiency of 25.8 man starting to get impressed here i'm going to be honest and our daily profitability is still at three dollars and 15 cents so where does that put me where am i going to run this unit from crypto miner bros the canon avalon a 1346 traditionally 110 terahash well we're not going to run it on that we're going to go ahead and run it on power mode four because i'm going to be honest that 2150 watts at 83.25 terahash looks super super attractive especially for me as a home miner trying to pack as many of these full-size asics into my new crypto mining shed all right guys that is going to wrap things up for today huge shout out to the team over at crypto miner bros for sending us the canyon avalon a 1346 bitcoin miner if you guys want to look at it a little bit more and get all the details and specs or you even maybe want to buy one, go ahead and check out the link directly down below to Crypto Miner Bros website. Well, I'm going to go ahead and head over to Shed 2.0 and get this puppy installed on low power mode.